Hey everyone, my name is Sherry Johnson Lopez and I'm a professional muralist and artist and I have a bit of strep throat so forgive me if I look a little puffy or I'm not all with it or a little crazy which I guess I'm kind of crazy anyway sometimes but anyway um, I got the biggest compliment the other day and uh, I ran into a friend and she told me, she's like, oh, Sherry, I know how you do your pet portraits now. You use a projector. And I was like, uh, no. And I don't think she believed me. And so she insisted, oh, yeah, you use a projector. I could tell. And I was like, well, no, I don't. And I don't even own one. But I'll take it as a compliment. So anyway... So since she said that, I figured, you know what, I'm going to show y'all how I do what I do. And I don't use a projector, but what I do use is old-fashioned gritting out everything when it comes to things that are very detailed or need to be specific. Otherwise, I just sketch it out. Now, I could just sketch out the portraits, but uh, this just makes it go a little bit faster, and then I don't have to race and... Uh, redraw so it just makes it go a lot smoother so anyway usually I don't show the process at the beginning because it's kind of boring but I will this time um, just so you can get a sneak peek and if you want to do something like it at least you'll know how to grid it out or how I do so anyway I take it as a compliment but um, no I'm actually a professional artist and I do kind of have a natural gift I can't say I'm the best artist but hey uh, I'll, I'll take credit when it's due, right? <laughs> anyway, let me show you how I do it. So this is how I get started on the portraits, whether it's people or pets. Now, I print off a picture of the photo that people send me. Um, usually I print it off in color, but for this one, I'll, I'll do it in black and white so you can get a better resemblance. Um, then I grid it off. Um, I did this by size, so I'm just doing an inch grid, so I number it down on one side and then an inch on the top, and, and that way when I work from the squares, I can go 1A, and I know there's a triangle, I can go to 1B, uh, and there's just dead space, 2, you know, C, and I know exactly where I'm at. And so then when you pull away, everything comes together, so I work by square. Now, if I'm working on a mural, and I need it to grid it out. I'll grid it out the same way, but then I have to size it. So if it's a huge wall, I know the dimensions of the wall, and it may be one inch squares on my drawing or on my picture, and then it may end up being one by one foot uh, squares on the wall, even four by four foot squares on the wall. So it just kind of depends on what I'm working at. Then I take my piece of paper, I do the same thing. And you can see I already got it started out for you. But um, when I'm actually working on y'all's pet portraits, I pull the scale way out because I don't have to be it up to size. That way when I erase it, you can kind of see here how you can see the erase line where I don't want that in the portrait. And so I scale it way out and then just use my ruler to go off of all the squares. Um, and again, you can draw lines across it if you want to, but instead I just sketch it out using a ruler without the lines, and I just reference each square, and I just start sketching it out and until I'm done. Now I'll put it in time lapse so you can kind of see a little bit of it, and then I'll show you the end. Okay, so here is the first picture that I gritted out, and here is the very rough sketch. Now, obviously, I erased some of those lines to help lighten it, and then I just take my charcoal pencils, my stub, uh, blending stubs, I guess you call it, and 
I darken everything out and blend it, and then I'm done. Yay. Thanks for watching, y'all. Appreciate it.